The frozen mussel must always be kept with dry ice all through the process. Do not touch the frozen mussel or its file directly to avoid tissue melting. A thermal container should be used for specimen transportation to prevent rapid dry eye sublimation. In non-tropical countries, if the sample can be arrived within a few days, a polystyrene foam box packed with dry ice may be used. In tropical countries, we recommend using a 1.5 to 2 liters vacuum flask. Here we show a vacuum flask method. The vacuum flask should have small hole in the inner lid to let out carbon dioxide gas from sublimation process. Otherwise, the flask may explode. Fill half of the vacuum flask with dry ice. Put the vial with frozen specimen into a sealable plastic bag with absorbent. Quickly put the bag into the flask. Fill dry ice until the flask seems full. Tap the flask to make more space for dry ice. Fill more dry ice until the flask is full. Close the flask lid. Wrap the flask with towel and put it in an insulated bag for travel. Pack with Cusion for transportation. Class 9 hazard level with marking. Dry ice UN1845 and net weight of dry ice in kilograms is required for international shipping. Muscle tissue being transported for diagnostic and investigational purposes with the least infectious probability should be leveled with exempt human specimen. Refer to courier companies and International Air Transport Association or IATA websites for specific shipment instruction.